in retrospect, it was inevitable. That's basically what I said about Elon Musk converting over into Bitcoin. That is exactly what Elon Musk tweeted this morning, eight hours ago, and changed his bio to simply Bitcoin. This alone shot the Bitcoin price up back into the moon, or should I say Mars? I'm gonna have to buy a spacesuit. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful traders. If you're new here, the goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the resources and knowledge to help you get to that next level. So make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, share this video and turn on that notification bell. So when we post videos like today's. You guys catch these trades, you guys catch these profits. Let's jump right in. Alrighty guys, so today we're gonna be covering the trade recaps we gave you guys on Monday. We're gonna go over it, see what the results were. Then we're going to cover, of course, this crazy run that's happened this week so far. Well, today so far. And we're gonna cover Ethereum as well. And we're gonna talk a little bit about Doge. I know a lot of you have been asking bunch of questions about it so we're gonna touch on it a little bit and you know give our insight on it and then of course at the end of it we're gonna give you guys trade setups for the weekend to hopefully make you guys some massive massive profits let's do it so first thing we're talking about of course is the trade recap the trade entries we gave you guys on monday so the first trade that we gave you guys on monday was the thirty-five thousand dollar entry that was the main trade that we were using and as you guys can see we broke right out and shot straight up to 38k so that's basically what we spoke about monday that if we could break out of 35 that would mean that we were breaking out of this channel and we would shoot up to 38 and boom you have it there exactly what happened if you entered this trade at 35 and wrote it up to 38 you would have done 86 percent in profits guys 86 percent if you took that trade today is really when it happened right congrats if you made those profits the second trade that we gave you guys was that 33,000 entry right so that 33k range was right here as you can see a lot of uh consolidation in that area so it was definitely a possibility that you could have got stopped out, but there's also definitely a possibility the first time we broke out of it, it went all the way to 35,000. So if you were able to ride it from 33 to 35, that was 60% profits if you use 10x leverage like us. If you had hands of diamond and held it from 33 and all the way up to 38, Guys, that was 151% profit. So congrats on that if you were able to uh, hold that. Then the next trade that we had was the Ethereum trade, 1350. So uh, 1350 was a very, very choppy area as you guys can see there, lots of chop. Um, so it was definitely a possibility that you might've got stopped out here. But if you did re-enter, like we always tell you guys to do, to just keep re-entering these trades, you would have you would have done about 18 percent profits if you use 5x leverage like us if you entered the other support so the the support entry that we told you was here at that 1200 level so it went the low of it was 1206 so if you were able to catch that or anything around there you would have done about around uh 80 percent profits on that move so that one was a harder one to catch because it didn't go exactly to 1200 but like we always tell you guys, it's not exact numbers, it's areas, it's zones. So anywhere in that zone, you gotta be looking for entries at that point, right? So if you were able to catch it, congrats guys. All right, so next we're gonna cover Doge and then uh, we'll jump into some BTC, ETH, and then as promised, some trade setups for the weekend. So in Doge, guys, I know a lot of people are asking about it. It had a crazy, crazy move yesterday, as you guys can see. It went from basically around the four hour here. So it went from the, that one cent range, posted it in our story yesterday when it was still around one cent, and it went all the way up till about, the high was around eight cents. So crazy, on, on Robinhood, I saw that it went all the way up above nine cents. 
guys the thing with this this is a meme coin right so there's no actual projects behind it there's no actual anything behind it right the only thing behind this right now is the redditors that are pumping the coin so this is a high risk high reward type of thing right yeah it could definitely take off again like it did yesterday and and you know test that 10 cent area again and you could double your money or it might just fall all the way back down to one cent and under and you could lose the majority of your money right so that's why i say this is a high risk high reward this is you know like going to the uh your local casino and betting on red or black right you have probably less than a 50 percent chance to make money on this right around that 47 percent chance is probably your your chance to make money but it could pump you know it could this is not predictable this has nothing to do with technicals has nothing to do with anything at all if the redditors pump it like they've pumped gamestop then awesome, you guys will make money. If they don't, then you're gonna lose your money. That's that's really all it is. I would advise you to take that money that you wish to put in this, go bet on red and black on in your local casino, and you probably have a better chance at winning. I know that's probably not what you guys wanted to hear, and I apologize, but hey, somebody's gotta say the truth, right? So now let's get into some seriousness. Looking at Bitcoin here, as you guys can see, it's been a very choppy week. We tested, we retested again this golden ratio Fibonacci level, that $30,000 range, huge whole number. I told you guys there was so much support here. So hopefully you guys listened and bought this dip because that's really all you had to do. I bought the dip on the way down. Probably I bought, I think around 30, then I bought again around 29.8, probably 29.5. So I was just kind of averaging down as it was going down in leveraged positions. But of course, this, these are small positions that I'm dollar cost averaging using low leverage. So I was able to buy it all the way down and I was able to hold it and sell up at $37,000 this morning for a very, very nice profit. So what can we expect next here? So you see that we broke, it seems like we've broken out of this channel, right? So this is a channel that was basically giving us the lower highs and lower lows, right? And it was the descending line, right? If we would have continued in the channel, like I told you guys on Monday, we continued in this channel, we were eventually gonna break this, this Fibonacci level and come down to this one, which was around that 27K range. Now that we've broken out of that channel, as long as we stay above this channel, we should be good to go to retest 40,000 and possibly new all time highs. So that's what we're currently watching here. It was a big impulse move this morning. So this is this is normal. This is just consolidation after an impulse move. You can expect to possibly stay within these two Fibonacci levels, the 38.2 and the 23.6. This would make it a, a bull flag, right? If we stay, if we stay like within this channel, kind of like this and do this over the weekend, we could possibly have a breakout to the upside, which will send us back up here to the, the all time high 42,000. Of course, first we have this stop right here, that 40 K big hole number. It will definitely be the next resistance after this right here. Um, so those are the levels that we're currently watching there. As far as support, uh, like we said, 35K is the big, big number. Below 35, if we were to fall below 35, uh, we would be testing back down here, the 33,000 level. And if that weren't able to hold, then we would test again, of course, this level right here, which is the 30,000 level. I'm hoping and I'm very bullish for it to stay above 35,000 today. By the time this video comes out and hopefully it's not under and i sound really stupid at the moment but i do believe that we should be able to hold here you guys can see there's a lot of support here there's been a lot of resistance here as well so it is a big area of interest where there will be a big fight of bulls versus bears right so I think we could hold above this and if we could hold above, above this over the weekend, we could see a, a push up with everything that's going on right now. You know, I think Wall Street is showing how important and why Bitcoin is so important. Literally everything that's going on right now in Wall Street is the issue with the financial system. And this is literally why Bitcoin was made, because Bitcoin solves this problem. 
the government has way too much control over our money and Bitcoin is a way to take control away from the government. And so you saw how Robinhood was able to suspend people from buying certain stocks and all the other brokerages also suspended the buying of those stocks and they literally forced depreciation of those assets, depreciation of those stocks so that the big players, the hedge funds that were going bankrupt could make some some of the money that they lost back. Um, there's a report that they've lost, hedge funds have lost around $70 billion in funds over this last, the, the last like two weeks or so. So of course they're crying. They're saying that this, these are not the rules of Wall Street and that we're not playing by the rules. So they're very upset that they're losing money because we're not playing by their set of rules. So now they're trying to change the rules so that it's again in their favor and they could continue to make money while us, the little people continue to lose money. So I didn't mean to go on a rant about this, but uh, guys, this is literally what Bitcoin was created for. This is what Bitcoin solves. It solves the issue of these people with all this money setting their own rules and taking controlling the money, controlling the rules that we play by. We need to take control away from these people, these corporations, you know, the corporation being able to say what we can buy and when we can buy it and when we can't. We need to take control away from the government. That's what Bitcoin does. If you weren't a believer in Bitcoin before, hopefully what's happening now has converted you into a believer the same way that it did for Elon Musk, guys. Look at Elon Musk. He is now a believer in Bitcoin. Next, let's take a look at Ethereum here. As you guys can see, we're still in the same range, right? So we tested this 1400 level again. So that was the breakout. Then we uh, tested 1200, had to bounce back up and now currently around that 1400 level. Now, Bitcoin is pulling back a bit, so um, it's also pulling back. And I know a lot of you were saying, you know, why isn't Ethereum moving as much with Bitcoin? You have to remember when there's huge impulse moves for Bitcoin, money moves out of coins like Ethereum and other altcoins. It moves out of those markets and it moves into Bitcoin, right? And then as soon as Bitcoin finishes its move, then the money starts flowing out of Bitcoin again and back into the altcoin markets. So that's currently uh, what's happening here. And it's why Ethereum lags when there's big impulse moves in Bitcoin, even though it did move. As you guys can see here, it had a how much was that? Seven percent move up basically from around thirteen hundred uh, to 1430. So it did move up. However, it didn't move up as much as Bitcoin because a lot of money was going out of Ethereum and into Bitcoin since Bitcoin's move was making such a big move at the time. So it took over some of the market dominance, right? So let's actually move. I'm going to move the Fibonacci retracement tool to this new all time high because I haven't reset it ever since the new highs. So there we go. So now what can we expect here? So now, as you guys can see, the bottom here is right around that 1300 level. So that's definitely a big level to enter if we were to test that level again. And obviously 1400 is a big level here. So it's a big resistance level. It's also a breakout level. So we would need a breakout of 1400 to lead to the new, the, the previous all time highs. If we get pushed back, then it should probably be to this area right here. And that's right at that 1400 level, which is also this Fibonacci level, 23.6% level. If we were to go below that, then we can expect to see another test of that 1200 level, which is also the 38.2% Fibonacci zone. As you guys can see, we tested it there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We will probably end up just kind of consolidating here until we can make a move up to the previous all time highs, right? So as long as Bitcoin consolidates, we can possibly move higher. If Bitcoin moves up higher, we will move up higher. But if Bitcoin dumps, then we will dump and we will test the support and possibly that next support as well. So it just depends, very dependent on Bitcoin. So we just got to kind of watch Bitcoin and it'll pretty much more or less give us an idea of what to expect from Ethereum. All right, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Next, we are going to cover, as promised, some trade setups for the weekend. And and yes, yeah, pretty much it will. And then we'll, we'll make some massive profits, become crypto millionaires and uh, 
take a trip somewhere, right? <laughs> so make sure to subscribe, guys. Make sure to like this video, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking of this entire crazy situation this week. Let's dive right in. All right, guys, so um, the levels that we're looking at is pretty pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We're looking at that 38,000 level. Um, that's gonna be a big level to break to get to that next 40K, right? So we will need a break here to get here to get here, right? So those are the three levels uh, going up that I'm looking at. So you can set, we're gonna be setting buy orders above 38K. You could possibly set it above 37 but look at 37 if, if you were to buy at 37 you'd be buying right here which there's resistance right here so it, it kind of there's just no room there to profit right the risk reward isn't there and the support is down here so this is your reward this is your risk it just doesn't make sense it doesn't add up so above 38K is where we're looking for for a breakout entry. On a pullback, we're looking for entries at 35,000. That's our pullback entry. If it were to go below that, then that next uh, support is at 33, which is also going to be now with the this top of this channel. It was a descending resistance. Now it's gonna be a descending support uh, type of thing. So hopefully we're able to stay on top of this channel if we are to break below this 35k support so we're watching here that's currently the, the trades that we're taking so 38k 35k we're staying out of what's in between in ethereum we're going to be looking for of course a break above 1400 now it's going to be a consolidation zone guys just like this one so it is kind of high risk if you want to be extra safe then you want to be above that 1480 mark right or even above 1500 would be a, even even safer but if you don't mind the risk then you can enter that 1400 zone or you can wait for a support entry down here so support entry would definitely be right here at that 1300 area right so the two the two entries would be above all-time highs and back down at that 1300 support if you are willing to take more risk then that 1400 area could be a possible breakout entry as well that is it for us guys it's been a crazy week to uh say the least it's been insane but it's it's definitely been i believe eye-opening for a lot of the people that are still not into bitcoin or might not have been believers of bitcoin before I believe that this is all leading just right back to Bitcoin, right? All this stuff that's going on, the way that hedge funds are playing, the way that the governments and corporations are currently playing, just showing everybody's opening everybody's eyes to Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin is the solution going forward. Bitcoin is the future. Appreciate you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys make some profits with these uh, trade setups that we gave you guys. Hopefully you guys made some profits from Monday's trade setups. Thanks for being with me all this week, guys. I will see you next week on Monday with some new videos. Hopefully, let's see what happens during this weekend. I will be updating you guys on Instagram. Make sure to follow us on there as well if you're not already. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Have an amazing Friday, guys. And I will catch you guys all on Monday. As always, guys, peace and love.